Okay, the original ice skate sharpener, the bar here is about 30 inches long. And on the, it just has one bar. And on the incredible edger over here, it has two bars. The newer one's got better geometry to it, uh, less error. The old one here, he purposely made this to be real long to reduce the error, but there is some slight error uh, when it tracks. So the original one down here, both of them have the same uh, top unit here, the same quill here for uh, dressing the wheel, the same wheels, the same belt like that, the same motor. And then here's the aluminum cast iron frame. And then the rod is down here. And so there's just one rod. So the error is that if you go back and forth this way with different thicknesses, it has a little bit of an error to it. Whereas over here, the incredible edger, there's not. And so this is the modern unit that you can upgrade. And we'll see if we can get the... Now, as far as being mounted on the table, this is mounted actually on a drill press-like frame. Uh, I think the ones that they've got at uh, ice skating uh, places sells them. They've got them mounted on the wooden uh, Harbor Freight uh, desks. So the mount on this, I've just got this tacked on with some wood screws. And I've got the bar, so it's just about to the edge here. Now what you got to be careful of, if you have this overhang, you can go up and bump into this and have all this fall on the ground. Because this is just hanging here due to gravity. So when it's on here like this, the danger is if you're kind of clumsy or you have somebody that's not what you're going to do and you can take all this precision stuff and bump into it. So it's designed so that uh, all this can be above the table. Now you might have to bore shim this up just a little bit. I think that's, I might have the wrong screw in there, but uh, you can bore a hole in the table or just shim this up some. It's probably me with the wrong screw that's on there. But it's designed so this whole thing can overhang on the table. So either it can be overhanging the table or it can be just uh, the table can come up to here. So you've got some protection. So if you bump into this, you don't do it. Now the rods on this are 29 inches. I think on the other one they're 30. And with the rubber bumper on here, they're about the same width. A little bit more in the video so if I take from the edge where I've got this mounted so the edge of the bar is right to here I've got about say eight and a half or nine inches beyond So that's the way I've got mine mounted. And that's just actually in the guide that he has. He's got just, a, I think it's just a Harbor Freight tool stand. But this again is dangerous. Got the foot switch here to turn this on. It's dangerous in the sense you can bump into this and have it fall off. So, uh, Having this extend over here is a little bit more perfective because you're going to bump into this. Again, these are you lift it up and down. So the advantage on the new machine is when you go back and forth like this, there's no tilt error. Let me see if I can find a skating blade. I'll just take this hole. This skate that's in here, if you go, depending where you clamp it on here, there's not an error tilting like this. And with the older one, because you have a, uh, 
long the pivot point is down here and up when you go back and forth there's a little bit of a the skate will move back and forth so there's a little bit of a crosshair this way with the old machine that's pretty much the only thing the difference is that eliminates that error this has been around for gosh I don't know 20 years So, again, from the motor to the edge, center of the motor to the edge of the carriage is, say, 13 inches. It's got the same 56 frame motor, same gizmo here, dust collect. So the casting is different. Two rods are different. And then... The carriage is different, and he's got several different versions of these, depending on what type of skates you want to use. Hockey, figure, so this just rolls back and forth. This, of course, this is the adjustment up and down. So when I'm not using it, I normally take the carriage and stuff off, so I don't come through here and somebody else come through and knock into this and have the... Uh, delicate stuff fall on the floor.